I created this interactive print in minutes with the power of Canva and Sketchfab built directly into our WorldCast platform. Let me show you how I did it. Let's get started. So if you're a Canva user, you can simply go to Canva and you can uh, have your existing designs. But if you go to WorldCast, you can uh, log in with your Canva account. So I'm just going to go to PrintCast. I'm just going to go uh, Freemium for now. I'm just going to call this Canva Test. I'm going to go Next. And you can upload your existing file or you can go design on Canva. So you can pick what you want to design on Canva, business card, brochure, flyer, invitation, postcard, poster. We're going to expand on this as time goes on with custom sizes. Right now, we're just going to go business card. And it's going to open up Canva right inside PrintCast. So all you have to do is you can pick from a template or you can go to your existing designs that you already have on your account. So right now you can see I have this uh, business card. One, I have two pages and I'll go into that here in a bit. I'm just gonna go uh, click that and I can still edit and change the content right inside Canva. So I have all the access of the design tool so I can edit the phone number if I want. I can change any of this content out how I want uh, at any time. Or I can put a uh, QR code in here. I could go to, and then I simply go to export to Printcast. Now, if I export to Printcast, this image already exists on my account, so I can't use that same image twice. However, I'm just going to go back to where the design I have already, and we're just going to break it down further. So here's all the content. I'm just going to quickly delete this content, okay? So we can start from scratch. So once you have the, once you go export to Printcast you'd be able to bring the image right into the studio, okay? I'm going to go into full screen mode just because I like working in full screen for focus. All right, so now I'm going to simply grab a video. I'm going to go to uh, video. I'm going to go select file. I'm just going to grab the video that I already have. You can also drag and drop directly into the studio as well. So I'm just going to scale this up a little bit, uh, just a hair bigger than the card itself so I can cover off the white edges I have on my, on my print. So now we have the video, we'll just hit play, make sure it looks good. Perfect. I'm going to go to Sketchfab. So now I'm going to go Purchased and I'm going to go Rocket because I, I, I bought this uh, cool rocket a while ago. I'm just going to simply import it into the studio. All right, now that's in the studio, I'm just going to quickly rotate it. All the controls are up here in the top left-hand corner to give you a, a little legend of what this tool does. You can use this. This is one of my favorite tools for panning around the surface real fast. So I, I always use that. So I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm just going to snap it on our 45 angle. I'm just going to move it up here like so. And we'll just raise it up outside of the print so it's like that. And now it kind of basically matches up what I had, what I had before. Now, if I go back to cast properties, we can go to shadows. And if I went off the image, or sorry, uh, off the image, we'll see that the shadow will go outside the image and that's what we don't want. So if you see that, just go back to cast properties and go on the image, and that way the shadow will stay within the parameters of the card without going outside the card, so it doesn't, uh, so you don't see a shadow floating in midair, which is uh, if somebody's holding the business card, that's why that comes into play. So we'll go 3D, I'm just gonna go 3D model library, I'm going to grab the, uh, my existing logo. So when you upload custom models, it will go into your 3D model library, so you can access them at any time, so you don't have to go re-upload them. So in this case, I'm just gonna grab our logo, I'm just going to move it over here, and I'm just going to rotate it down. So there we go. And I'm just going to quickly add the text. If I go create text, you can give it a title if you want. I'm going to go hello world cast. And I'm going to go uh, make it a little more bold. I'm going to grab the uh, roughly around the world cast color. You can put the actual value in down here. I'm just eyeballing this just for the sake of uh, um, showing all the features. And I'm simply going to make this bigger and make this, the thickness a little less. You can see right now, it's a, you can control the thickness of this. So I'm just gonna bring this down to about there and I'm gonna simply bring it up on top of the card like so. And now let's quickly add those buttons. And this is all within the realm of freemium right now on this card that I'm designing. This gives you feedback on how many objects you have left. In this case, I used, the, I used my one video that was allowed. I used the one 3D model that was allowed. You can use unlimited sketch fab, but do keep in mind in the bottom left-hand corner the size of your cast, right? You want to be aware of your audience, uh, where they might be accessing the content as well, so you're not creating a heavy cast, as well as the browser itself not being able to have a bunch of objects perhaps at the same time. Our system will give you as much feedback as possible to let you know that you're getting close to within the parameters of what might not make for a good experience. So let's just go to uh, 
let's just go to the uh, images here and we go to image from library which we have pre-populate so I'm just going to grab an Instagram one and go select <clears throat> we'll just leave it there for now actually I'll just drag it down just out of the road and I'm going to add one more <clears throat> and I'm going to go visit website so let's go select and we'll just bring it over here so let's just zoom out a bit and let's just bring it down on top if you ever see this in your if you ever see this kind of uh, element happening it's because it's on the exact same plane some on certain objects especially PNGs so just take this little node right here and just raise it up a tiny bit and that will get rid of that that problem we are adding a snap to uh, feature grid uh, uh, a snap element down the road which is gonna be really handy so I'm just gonna go I'm just going quickly but I'm gonna go like uh, I want to have a delay of it fading in so it's gonna go three and three for both of these I'm just going to put my website on this one. And I'm going to go save. Nice little feature we built into the uh, portal. So we can scan the QR code when it pops up. Or if you already have portal.worldcast.io open, you can actually hit the QR code uh, uh, button that's on the main screen. Let's just refresh this entire thing so you can see what it looks like from the beginning. So if you go to portal.worldcast.io, this is what you present for the first time. You can scan the image without the QR code, uh, or you can actually go to the QR code and actually just scan the uh, QR code with the QR co inbuilt uh, browser-based QR code reader. So let's just go preview now, and let's just aim at this card, and we'll see that we're back to exactly how we designed it uh, earlier. And you see those buttons just faded in. So let me just give a little bit more example of that. I'm going to put a different... Uh, I'm going to have this go 5 and five like you can do any combination you want just to get the, the exact look you want but i'm just going to go like that i'm going to go save and again i'll just quickly scan that qr code i could also just refresh the browser but i just want to show that feature does exist i'm going to aim at this card and we'll see what those two buttons fade in this one first and then this one now obviously i made that i can make that video a hair uh, a bit bigger and it will cover those white edges a bit more or if this card was a full bleed it wouldn't matter because those white edges would not show i'm going to tap this visit website button and it will take us through to the website so that's as easy as it is to create content within printcast in canva with no code whatsoever and just quickly bang out your content and make them interactive uh with with no code I just almost forgot to show one thing so the video that i used how i was able to get that from canva i just simply went to canva this is a video background I dropped in, in right inside of Canva. So I, I made a duplicate page on this, and I simply deleted all the content from this side. I deleted all this content and the QR code. And then I exported it. I went to, uh, I simply went share, download, and made sure that, uh, so if I go download, I made sure MP4 was enabled, and I was just able to get an MP4, which I was able to put on top of my business card. So that's how easy that was to do. And as always, I cannot wait to see what you create.